Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, sorry it took this long, but uh, I am finally going to do a tutorial for you guys for the uh, spawn points and uh, objectives. I know some of you guys are having a hard time uh, setting up objectives and especially connecting, so uh, hopefully this will help you guys uh, understand it a little bit. Basically, I'll just set up a template map, or actually I made this myself, just a little box in here and some lighting so um, I can set this up for you guys. What I did is, let me go in lit mode. Um, I just put a, you know, a E character with blue lighting, so this will be the blue team, the defending team, and then on the other side I just put um, the the other character, you know, another character with uh, the USA character, the US Army one, with the red light. Uh, just so it'll be team, uh, what do you call it? So, as you see, I've already set up uh, a spawn point, and uh, actually what I'll do is I'll go ahead and delete them so I can walk you guys through uh, how to set them up, because it'll be a little bit easier to understand it. Uh, the first thing I'll, you always want to do before you start a map, once you start a map, uh, as you set your spawn, you can put your spawn points first, or uh, you can put a, 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 a pylon actor first in your map. Basically, what you want to do, let me go to top view. Try to put a pylon and and surround your map with it. Now, be careful how big you go because this is all calculated as uh, building paths and all that. So, if you get too big, it might be uh, crashing your computer. You know, like so. I went to a 24 radius on it. You don't want to go way too big and get crazy. I believe 4096 should still keep you intact, but that's going to be a huge map, and I don't think it'll be uh, anything you'll probably need, but Anyways, uh, make sure you do do that. And the reason being is, what this is is basically a path connecting all the dots. You know, the spawn points, with the objectives, with the uh, opposite team objectives. Just kind of bringing everything together so the whole system understands. You know, understands each other. What what are what's happening through the process? Uh, if you notice, I'll hit P. And you see how everything just will turn green. And basically what it is, is this is green, that means this is a good, clean, plain area. You'll notice in maps that are, you know, small, small uh, closed quarters and doors, elevators, you know, areas like that, you'll have red line as you see it on the over here. That means you can't go out of play. If you do, if there was an AI in game, it wouldn't recognize it. Uh, you know, this game doesn't have AI, but it still needs this information to, you know, uh, kind of connect everything together so it understands what's going on. I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, I'll open my uh, CSAR map. Uh, oops, I said don't save, but I should have said save. But that's all right. We'll read it when I come back to it. Now, if you notice, uh, close that. If I hit P now, you notice how all these areas, you know, they're green. They're they're good. They're within play. Uh, you know. If I had AI, I would have a hard time going, recognizing to go through this door because it might be a little bit tight. Uh, you know, so you, you'll see the difference how, you know, anything that's clean green, it's clean open white space where uh, characters. So this gets attached. I mean, going all the way from the spawn to the objectives, and, you know, so on, and all the way to the other side. You know, just connecting the dots. So just basically that's what it is. You want to make sure you get that in game. I don't know why when it's not in game crashes. I couldn't answer that. I didn't write the code, so I'm, I understand. You know, there's a reason behind it, um, and I believe that's what's causing it. So, anyways, I would suggest doing that. But oh boy, let me delete these again. Oops, I hit P instead of delete. Sorry. Uh, delete that guy. Delete that guy. Um, no, I'll delete him. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into the browser, go under, under actor classes. Under actor classes, you got what's called insertion point. And if you expand that, there's the command point. The command point is probably the, the, the actually the brain of the operation. It's what tells the game here's the, where the spawn points are. It connects to them, and then it connects to the objectives, and it connects to the other team to close the close that loop so it says hey once I capture this that means it's done it's game's over either I win or whatever the team the other team wins and so forth 
So what I'll do is I'll grab an insertion point first. I'll go ahead and close it. I'll put one on the red side. Uh, you can either drag and drop it or just right click uh, and add insertion. And then I'll go to the other side and uh, I'll right click and again add it. Now you notice this is red also. I'll double click it, open up its properties. Under insertion point for team index, zero is red, one is blue. Like we have talked in that. There it is, it turned blue. Okay. Now what I want to do is, uh, since I have this, I'm going to go back to the first one first. I usually put them um, one at a time. I'll go ahead and uh, the player, if you're doing BDX, you want to do six. If you're doing uh, FLO, you're doing 12. In this case, I'm doing FLO, I'm doing 12. For, for me, at least, I, you don't have to do it, but for me, I feel comfortable enough. What I always do is add an additional spawn point or two. That only helps just in case there's issues with spawns, you know, players spawning stuff, you know, so you're not out of the game or not being spawned with weapons. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I don't think that matters, but at least I do it just for feel better for myself. So what I do is I'll always add, like, say, it's not 132, but 13, okay? And then I'll enable the spawn to get it started. And then what I'll do is I need to get the sh show the starting point. So there it is. Once I click it, there's the little joystick showing all the spawn points. Okay, I'll do the same thing um, to the other side. Sorry, I hope I'm not giving you guys a headache by doing this. So I'll change this 13. Okay, and then I'll turn the spawn points for the blue team. Okay, now, uh, if you notice, uh, each spawn point has a arrow coming off of it. What their arrow is, is the, the direction the player spawns. You want to make sure you set that properly because if you don't, uh, it looks weird spawning, you know, your map is looking north but your character is spawning south, you know, looking uh, south, it looks weird. So what I like doing is going in the top view, you know, and now I notice, you know, going on 45 this way towards the red, I'll come over here and click this and then I'll, I'll hit my space bar to change to a rotate tool and I'll rotate the whole thing about, eh, as you see, close to 45, doesn't have to be perfect. Now every player will spawn looking that way, so it doesn't look weird, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then do the same thing, <coughs> excuse me, uh, for this team. Rotate it so that you're comfortable with, with it, you know. You could also move each uh, additional, each uh, individual spawn out to where you want them, you know, uh, if you want to have a couple players spawn here, a couple players spawn down here, you know where my mouse is, but for the most part, uh, I'm sorry, sometimes I have a habit of hitting the wrong buttons. And so that's that. Now with this, you know, making sure, double click it, it's signed letter A, 13, team 0, I got my spawn point, okay, I'll go over here, now this should be B, signed as B, 13, team 1, correct. Now what I want to do is go back to the red team. I'm going to set up the command pole, the brains of this operation. So I'll go ahead and bring up the browser and go under actor classes and grab the command pole. And I'll put one for the red team and at the command point. And I don't know if it matters really. I think it just it just needs information off of this because uh, for here where the objectives are, when you connect it to read this, I think that's all it is. But I, just for uh, being comfortable, I always change this just to make sure it's set up to the uh, to the spawn point. Just in case you never know. I don't know. It might not mean nothing, but just for my sake, I feel comfortable. With that. And then I'll go ahead and go to the blue team. <clears throat> And it doesn't have to be close. It can be out of play if you want a little bit further out or whatever. You know, your spawn points are important because that's where you're spawning in the world. This this doesn't have to necessarily be in the world, but it has to be, you know, put in. Otherwise, it won't work. Now, i got to change this. I'll leave the letter assigned to it. Just change it to 13. And then I'll add team 1, turn this blue. And now we're good. So now when I go ahead and open this, okay, uh, you notice uh, it shows my command points where we are the own point, and then there's my spawn point. Now, if for some odd reason you don't get this, it tells you uh, error. Uh, your your I forgot the exact term for it. What they call what the error is, or the the box that pops up, but it says something along the lines 
your settings are not complete or your info is not set up or proper, whatever. If that happens, what you want to do is you want to go to your browser, right at last tab, the map browser. If you open it up, it'll bring up all your um, mission info you need to add, put in here. Basically, what you want to do, for me at least, what I found out that are important uh, is always making sure your mission name and your uh, short package name are identical. If you're not, you're going to have problems uploading to Steam and there might be some issues. And make sure the full package name is set up. Um, you know, you can change it if you want to change the time. It's per seconds. So 60 seconds equals one minute. Um, and the mission time. Usually, if you're doing activate, you want to put AC. Uh, if you're doing extract, you know, I believe it's EX. Uh, if you're doing take and hold, TAH, you know, uh, so on. And that's what you want to leave. In my case, I'm leaving this now for him because I'm be doing the. As you see, it's black here. Your map actually is all the way down here. What you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to make sure you align your map just inside this box. Now once you do, you want to go to the top and you want to go ahead and capture your texture. Now a box will pop up, boom, now you capture the texture. Then once you got this properly filled, you take that screenshot, it'll automatically allow you to open up the objective editor. And Once you click it, then you see your setup. Now you see how mine is out of play a little bit, even though it's actually, if you look at off the map, it's not. If, I, if I'm not comfortable with it, what I can do is close it, go back in, uh, you know, I'm glad this is happening so you guys can see what's going on. So basically what I'll do is I'll go slightly higher up and realign it and then recapture my screenshot for it. And then now, if I open this, you see it actually shows up. Okay, so now what, what we have is basically set up our spawn points and the command post, you know, that will communicate with that. Uh, for now, what I want to do is I want to attach my uh, red team, which is the attacking team command post, to my objective just to make sure they're communicating with each other. I'll leave everything else as is. Now, with that being said, I can go ahead and press play. And now, as you see, yeah, don't mind my character. I've double-sized them just so I know where I'm at. Which side, as you see, the other guy's all the way down there. Uh, and now if I go ahead and go to uh, Bravo and click enter, oops, sorry, uh, that's because I don't have the blue team attached. But now, if I go ahead and open this back up, and I go ahead and attach these two guys, and I hit pray, now I'm on red team, and if I switch to Bravo, and there I am, I'm on the Sometimes that will happen, so my apologies. But there you go. So now, as long as, if you don't have those attached, it will not know where to spawn. It will spawn basically on the pylon actor, which is in the middle of your map, because that's also an actor um, that's connected to the player model, okay, to the to the navigation, all that. So you got to make sure you attach your command post and your, your player stuff, okay? So now when I open it up, basically what's going to happen is not even going to show, but ignore that for that. You just want to make sure you those are because now it'll still read it. Uh, I believe as long as I did it one time, if not uh, because I don't cancel. Uh, because I don't have uh, uh, see, it, it spawned me. Because I don't have any objectives yet. But as soon as you do it one time you should be okay. So now we're going to close this and we're going to do some objectives. So Basically, what I want to do is first, I'm going to go ahead and fully load my browser. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that. Um, just to kind of show you guys uh, the things you can use as far as letters and stuff to assign to the objectives. Uh, don't mind that pop-up that's some, uh, you know, uh, custom stuff uh, that's missing from my pack. So it's not a big deal. But anyways, um, so with that said, uh, what I'm going to do... Excuse me. Open this actually back up and go into the actor browser. Now, underneath, let's close that up. Underneath, there's objective volume. That's where most of your or all your objectives are set up. This is the new game type, uh, occupy, and then you'll see there is the content for the activate mode, uh, destroy the bomb, uh, carry flag bomb, you know, and so on. Extract content. Okay. Um, let's just take the act activate content, and I'm gonna place. Uh, get them in the center of the map. 
I know it's a bigger map, but it's just for sake. I'm sorry about that. Let me get that straightened out. Now I'm going to copy and paste three of these. I'm, all I'm doing is growing them all and uh, dragging to pull another one. Now you notice I got three objectives. They got a little circle, a round ball above them. Uh, basically, that's where the objectives need to be set up, so it recognizes what's what. Now, you might say, how do I know which is what? Basically, why I loaded my editor is if I put activate in here, okay, you notice for the activate mode, here's all the icons I could use. Here's for the blue team, there's V, W, X, Y, and Z. And same thing for, um, you know, the red team, and then there's neutral. So you can set up your your um, objectives for the blue team, where the red team catches them, you can set them up for the red team or the blue team, or you can set them up as neutral where both teams can grab them. Okay. Uh, and same thing for all the other, uh, I believe, uh, destroy, and if I scroll down, there's destroy, and extract has them, and bomb has them, so, you know, all, they all have them, you can see, but they're all the same letters, you know, so you should be okay. I think just bomb has a B you can add on. Uh, and I believe, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. But in this case, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, uh, double-click this. and Now, keep in mind, when you're assigning letters, make sure you put capital letters. Because if I put a small one, just a small case, uh, Y, and I enter, see, it gives me the blank icon. So that's how the engine would, or the game would see it. So we want to put a capital Y. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll put W here. And let's put, you know, you can use any of them. It doesn't have to be the exact ones, just any of those that are in game. So now with that being said, let me actually go up top view and uh, separate these uh, on their own. Uh, one second, sorry, I'm going to have to stop this video for one minute. I got a phone call.